Well, hello. We're continuing in this series where we're talking about 21 things successful people do differently. And I just want to welcome you to this. Uh, please make use of these uh, vignettes as conversation starters. If you're mentoring people, if you're working in small groups, uh, make use of them, please. Teach other people these principles. The more you teach other people, the more it sticks within you. I just really want to uh, influence you so you can influence people out there. And so today is my second point, my second point in the art of being successful, in becoming a successful person. When we talk about being successful, the essence of success is basically the progressive realization of predetermined worthwhile goals. So you can't talk about success without talking about goals. And my second key point in what successful people do differently is that they have self-efficacy. Self-efficacy. Self-efficacy is a psychological term. It was popularized by a number of theorists. Some of you might have heard of people like Albert Bandura with his social learning theory. But really self-efficacy is to do with a sense of your own competency. Your belief about whether you can do something or can't do it. I've really been blessed with uh, three boys, three sons. And what's interesting is as they're growing up, they will always want my attention or their mom's attention, especially when they're doing things that they're impressed with. And you'll see them wanting to jump into a, a swimming pool or do something crazy. And they will look around and say, Daddy, Daddy, watch me do this. And to be honest with you, some of their tricks, some of their stunts aren't really that amazing. But I understand that my job as a parent is to affirm them, is to show them that you can do, you can be whatever you really desire to be. And as a child grows up, that child is asking that question, am I competent? Remember, your self-image is made up of a sense of belonging, a sense of worth, and a sense of competence. Or you might want to look at it this way, a sense of security, a sense of significance, and a sense of self-worth. Now, as we grow up in life, if we've got gaps in those areas where we were never really affirmed and told that, man, you are good, you are brilliant. If those questions, those deep questions of life were never really reinforced in us, we find ourselves with holes in those areas. And many people grow up with that dysfunction where they're just not too sure, can I really do this or can't I? And they begin to second guess themselves. But regardless of how you grew up, whether you were affirmed or not, whether your parents were distant or not, it's never too late to change. You can build up a sense of competence. You can build up a sense of self-efficacy. So a key thing in being successful is your belief about whether you can do something or you can't. I speak to many people and I say, don't you want this particular position? Don't you want to be promoted? And you'll hear them saying things like, you know what, I'm, I'm just not too sure I can do it. And you see that they're debilitated by the fear of failure, or in some cases also the fear of success, that attention that they'll get. Uh, they're afraid of responsibility. They're afraid really of will people see me as competent or not? Will I succeed or not? And that happens often because we don't have a sense of self-efficacy. If you see certain people who choose to take up certain musical instruments, certain sport, certain management positions, you'll find that those people are high on self-efficacy. Successful people have a strong sense of efficacy in their lives. Are you a powerful person? Powerful people have a strong sense of efficacy. See, what powerful people do is the way they think, the way they see themselves is, I can do this, I'm competent. That's one of the marks of adulthood, actually. See, when a child is growing up, a child needs to be affirmed. A child needs to be told, yes, that was a good presentation you did. Yes, you're very good at maths. Yes, you're a very good singer. There's something about becoming an adult, whether you're able to assess yourself, you're able to look at yourself and say, I think I did a good job there. Uh, I think that was a lousy job, right? Self-efficacy is whether you, where you're able to speak to yourself and say, yes, I'm doing well in this. And that gives you the boldness, it gives you the confidence to step out and do it. Question I have for you is, is your self-efficacy authentic or not? Is your view about your capabilities based on misbeliefs or is it based on the truth? Sometimes people find themselves in situations where they do really badly just on one occasion 
and then it really, really, really paralyzes them in terms of self-efficacy. But when you look at your past successes, you realize, man, I've done so many good presentations. Why am I so afraid just because of that one incident when I was given negative feedback? Have a look at the tapes. Have a listen to the tapes in your mind that you keep repeating, that you keep playing back to yourself because those could be affecting your sense of efficacy. People are affected not just by words spoken by other people, but they're really mainly affected by the thoughts they have concerning themselves. You see, if someone tells, tells you that you're terrible at playing that instrument or you're really bad at speaking or communicating in front of people, guess what's going to happen? The thing that affects you isn't what they say. It's the fact that you rehearse that over and over again, thousands of times. It's like you're replaying or reliving that particular trauma. What are the misbeliefs that have caused you to be low in your self-efficacy? Successful people have high self-efficacy. They believe they can. If you believe you can, very often you can. Thank you.